with the housing cycle, it's kind of just a big circle. It, it goes up and it goes down and it goes up and it goes down. Um, they usually say that the average time for the cycle is about seven years. So every seven years, we'll see the market kind of go up and then it'll start going back down. Um, we saw a down crash in 2007 and then um, there was another two, uh, uh, down crash in 2011 and things like that. So that's kind of how the cycle goes. Now, um, since the last crash, we haven't seen um, a crash yet. So they're saying that, oh, we should be seeing a crash. And now that COVID has hit, COVID has really kind of slowed it down because what happened was COVID hit and people were nervous. So they, instead of saying, oh, let me put my house in the market, let me wait and see what's going on. I don't want people coming in my house. I don't want people, I don't want to show my house. I don't want people, you know, I don't want to get exposed to the virus. So let's kind of wait and see what's going to happen with this. So mm -hmm. the inventory has come back. So there's not as many houses on the market that we would expect. So that in that way, um, because there's less houses, that means that it, it, it is a, um, a market for, for sellers. Um, there's going to be way more buyers now because there's less houses. So there's going to be multiple buyers trying to find a house, trying to buy a house. So um, when um, the house does become available, because there's so many buyers, there may be more multiple offer um, situations. And that will kind of raise the house price because let's just say if the house is 150000 and there's 20 buyers trying to buy this house, they're going to put their best foot forward. Oh, there's multiple offers. Okay, well, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to offer 155. Well, I'm going to offer 160. So it does make it a seller's market, but there's not a lot of inventory. So what we're seeing is that it may start, we, we're not seeing a significant like, oh, it's dropped like a 2007. It's not that type of drop, but we can see that it has slowed down just because there are less people, um, you know, selling homes because of fear. So that's where we are with that. And now that we're coming out of COVID, we also have the election. Um, we're kind of trying to see what's going on. It's still moving. It's not moving as it was before COVID, right before COVID hit. It was, you know, it was booming. So homes were selling. And as you can see, if you look around, there were a lot of new construction communities. And when you see those new construction communities popping up everywhere, that means that we're in a really good market. We're in a really good, it's growing, it's grabbing, the economy's going, everything's going. Um, so that's where we were right before COVID hit. And now that COVID hit, it's kind of like, ah, I don't know yeah. where we're going to go. It's kind of, you know, kind of <laughs> leveling off and kind of yeah. like, okay, we'll see what's going to happen now. Welcome to BlueFM.com, slated as North America's best streaming source for Caribbean entertainment news. The team utilizes the advent of enhanced technology to explore the digital arena of broadcasting, which competitors viewed us as an immediate citadel in the industry. We create a mix of up-to-the-minute contents and top music, top music for the month on a compelling site of groundbreaking information. groundbreaking information. We are consistently seeking content writers, DJs, and producers to partake in our ongoing projects to be the best. Are you looking to start your online business? Do not hesitate send your inquiry to gluefmads at gmail.com for more information